Hey everyone, in this video I'll share 5 different Vex snippets to help you improve your workflow, hopefully. All the scenes are up on my Patreon, by the way. So the first one is really simple, but effective. I need to place these rocks in the center of the scene to later copy them to points. You could easily do that with a 4 inch loop, with a match size, with the align set to center, but a simpler way is to pack your objects and since we are dealing with points we can just use a wrangle and place them at zero. So I modeled this camera and wanted to place some logos and tags on it and there's a simple line of Xcode that can do that. First I'm converting the geo to UV space. I also have a texture with all the logos and in this case I am tracing them. From there placing them in the target UV space by using an edit node. And once they are in the correct UV space I can simply use the UV sample to deform them with the shape of the camera. Another neat trick learned from the CG Wiki Discord. In this simple example I am using the computed UVs from a sweep to deform the sides of a leaf shape. And since I need the opposite deformations on the left and right, I was creating an if statement, so if the position x is bigger than 0, deform it with positive offset, otherwise make it negative. But turns out you can simplify this by using the sign function, that will act here as a multiplier either positive or negative, depending on the position x. Another great trick learned from Swalsh. Now let's say you have a bunch of randomly positioned shapes, in this case in Y, and want to make them lay flat on the grid. And that's easy enough, just do a for each connected piece and place a match size inside with the align Y set to mean. And this is the same way of doing it, but for learning purpose I decided to have a VEX alternative. And hopefully you can get some tips from it. So first we need a connectivity node. Then in VEX we gather the values of the class attribute with unique vowels, iterate with a for each, filter the group, get the point numbers and also save the bounding box mean. Finally we can iterate over the points and if they are below the grid move them in the positive Y. By the same amount they are below. In this case adding to the position with absolute which will turn it to positive values. Again, a bit overkill, but always nice to know, I believe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. To finish, this one is quite simple. I have some road curves, created some geo with a topo build, and need to snap it to the curves. And that's a job for min pause. One line of vex, or you can simply use the rain node, it's up to you. Okay, that was it. This was more like a bunch of unfinished projects mixed together. But I decided to share these VEX snippets since I found them really useful. Grab the files on my Patreon and let's wait for Audini 20.5 now. Thank you!